Okay, in this video, I'm going to go back to a little bit of basics with SAS. We we'll talk about data types and operators. So there are eight data types in SAS, different types of information that you can store. These are the eight types here, numbers, strings, colors, booleans, null, lists, maps, and function references. So I've already done videos on functions. I've done a video on lists. Uh, I haven't talked specifically about these, but we've used quite a few of these things. Now, numbers, they can be decimal numbers. You can use integers, or you can use units along with the number. And this, in SAS, is considered to be a number. Strings, we can use them with single quotes. We can use double quotes or we can use no quotes at all. And this is really just like CSS. In CSS, we can do this. So here's one with single uh, double quotes around it. Here's one that has no quotes around it and another one that has no quotes around it. But we could use single quotes as well around any one of these. Colors, again, just like CSS because SAS really is CSS equivalent, uh, compatible uh, with colors. You can use the three digit hex. You can use the six digit hex. You can use the RGB function, the RGBA function. You can use the HSL function, the HSLA function, uh, or the named colors like cocky, purple, red, blue. Any one of those is valid and considered to be a color in SAS. Now, one of the cool things about SAS is when you compile it, what's going to happen is SAS is going to look at the different versions of the color and it will always give you the smallest version. So whatever's the shortest one, the shortest representation, it could be the hex code or it could be this. So there's a named color, it could be a three digit hex, it could be a six digit hex, it could even be an RGB or an HSL value. The point is, it always gives you the shortest version, the shortest string length for whatever the color representation is when it compiles it. That's why you may have a variable here that you've set as some value, and then when you look at the final CSS, it may appear differently, and that's because it's a shorter representation of the same color. Booleans, uh, true, false, pretty self-explanatory. Null is just null. Lists talked about in the other video. It's uh, string values, number values, whatever. So you can have comma separated ones, you can have space separated ones, you can have quotation marks around them or not, just like you would with strings. Uh, and there's also, also optional parentheses that you can put around it. Maps, very much like objects in JavaScript. So there'll be a key value, sorry, a key and then a value and then another key, and then another value, and so on. Comma between them, and you absolutely have to have the parentheses around it. So the way I tend to do it is I will leave the parentheses off of my lists, and you have to have them on the maps, and that way it's quick at a glance. You can tell, I mean, you've got the colon and the value and key, but it's just a quick way to see the difference. And functions, we've talked about functions already. So those are the eight kinds of data types that you get in SAS. Now, operators, we've got a couple of kinds of operators. So there's the relational operators. This is comparing two values. So we've got equals, not equals, less than. Oh, sorry, relational is just less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. And these are for numbers only. The equality operators, these ones, operate or, these are the ones with not equal to and equal to. And these are for any of the data types. You can use the equality operators comparing any of these things. So you can combine operators, uh, oh, then there's the mathematical operators. plus, minus, multiply, divide, and modulus. Those are the five mathematical operators. So we have all these, and we can use them anywhere in our SAS. So let's create a class here called Fred, and inside there, we can say that we want the width to be 200 pixels 
times 2. And it will, because this is a valid number, it'll combine it and then it'll put the unit on at the end. So if we compile this, there it is. And this is one of the really powerful things about SAS, is the fact that you can use all these mathematical operators on numbers, and the fact that numbers with units are considered to be just numbers. So it will remove the unit, do the multiplication, then put it back on. Or if it has to do conversion, it'll do the conversion between the different units. Um, so let's say that we want to have padding, which is 0 point or 1.5 REMs uh, divided by 2 plus 4. And there we have it. So we've got our padding is 4.75 REM. So makes it very easy to do calculations if you have to figure out the width of things, the height of things, if you want to figure out uh, uh, the value of a size of anything on your page. Just a, a really powerful thing. The fact that you don't have to do the conversion of the units yourself, the fact that you don't have to treat it as a string and strip off the unit and then do the mathematical operations, it just saves a lot of time. So that's data types and operators in SAS. Have fun with that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.